Uh, but now, today, we're here to talk about your latest venture, uh, which is a company called Sonic Blocks. So tell us what is Sonic Blocks and what do you intend to accomplish with this company? Certainly. Well, back, uh, you know, after I exited my last company, um, you know, I was traveling all over the world. And finally, I, I got back into, into New York or New Jersey at the time. And my son and I, Jordan, who's my co-founder and co-inventor, we were sitting in the office that uh, that we shared in the house. And, you know, the concept really started with us sitting in the office trying to, you know, figure out what piece of music we're going to listen to, and which was a challenge. And then once we finally found <laughs> well, that piece Well, father and son might, might have, uh, you know, some different tastes there. Very much so. But oddly enough, you know, he did come around and he finally found, you know, a piece of music in my library that he liked. And I thought, okay, all is good in the world. We'll be able to coexist in this space. Then all of a sudden he turned the music up and he started cranking up the bass. And of course my head was about to explode. So, <laughs> you know, and I go over, I'd crank that down and I would equalize it and do whatever. And, uh, you know, he would get up and start, you know, changing and modifying different things. And it was kind of bizarre because here it is, the two of us who finally found a piece of music that we liked together, all of a sudden, you know, we wanted completely, we wanted to hear it in a completely different way. So, you know, all of a sudden this idea of customization and personalization really started to, to come to fruition for us. And while we're sitting there trying to do this, we're surrounded by all of these obsolete, you know, Bluetooth speakers that we had bought and, and used and discarded over time as, as our taste changed. And Jordan all of a sudden, you know, he turned to me and said that there's really an opportunity for us to do something together here because, of course, he had grown up. With me, you know, coming up with all these crazy, crazy ideas, and he was always the first one to say, "Dad, that's the stupidest thing I ever heard." <laughs> well, but all of a sudden, he's turning to me. He's like, "You know what? There's really something here. You know, there's a market not just you know for for me, but for millennials who certainly want to have this greater control over their environment." And he said, "You know what? Why don't we see what we can do about um, fleshing out this concept and seeing if there's something else that's out there?" And that was really the genesis of this overall concept, and it's been a whirlwind since then. So now it turns out that that when you looked out in the world, there wasn't anything like what you're planning and designing and, and intending to to sell. So what what is it that, that we're talking about here? Well, what we, we conceptualize is a completely modular system where, you know, your traditional Bluetooth speaker, it's a set and forget, right? You, you have it, you can't customize it, you can't change or modify it once you bought it. So what we started with was this modular concept where we would separate all the essential parts and pieces. So we started with a brain. And that brain was intended to be really platform agnostic. So as technology changed or modified, we'd be able to upgrade it, enhance it, and be able to, to grow. And we said, okay, let's start with a basic technology. So we started with PlayFi. And PlayFi, which is a great platform, allows us to have everything from a you know, single block to adding multiple block configurations to having a whole house speaker system type of, uh, of a system. And then we said, all right, let's build on top of that. And we designed this exoskeleton that you can also pop onto it. And every face, in this case, it's start with a square or a cube. And every face of that cube is has a place where you can decide what type of drivers you want in this system. So you can pop in a tweeter, a mid-range, a full range, a, you know, another a woofer component. And you can pop them off, swap them on, pop them off anytime you want and completely mm -hmm. enhance the system. And that was the, the basic concept from an audio perspective. And then all of a sudden, um, you, you can start adding on all kinds of enhancements to this type of system. So where we're, we're launching this as a, as a very, you know, really unique type of audio system that is a swappable element, we designed it to have this long tail of accessories and other components and elements that we can uh, identify and authenticate and pop onto the system so that uh, users and consumers can have a very long life of technology available to them that doesn't go obsolete. 